So one of my followers actually reached out to me. She showed me this adorable tissue box holder that cost $45 to purchase online. I said, let me recreate that using Dollar Tree items. So I picked up three of these Dollar Tree frames. They do originally have these galvanized metal inside of them. I used two of them for another project, so I had to go to plan B and make my own galvanized metal. So I did pick up some of this black poster board from Dollar Tree. I think it costs about 79 cents. I'm just placing the frames on top of it, tracing it out, and then cutting that tracing right out. I did that to all three of those frames, and now let's go ahead and glue these frames all together. So I'm using my famous Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just placing two of them together. And then for the third one, I just did the same thing, but on the other side. And then just allow that to completely dry for about 30 minutes or so for that glue to completely dry. Now, if you have the frames with that metal already inside, you could go ahead and skip this step. But with those cutouts of the, I just marked off every half of an inch and then using an embossing tool that also came from Dollar Tree, I'm just using that at every half of the inch where I placed that marking. And this is just going to create an indentation without actually going all the way through and cutting that poster board. So once I had that all set, I got this folk art acrylic paint. It is a metallic silver color. I am just going to be using a cut up Dollar Tree sponge and I'm just dabbing that acrylic paint all throughout the poster board. This did take a couple of coats. So you just wanna dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then allowing that to completely dry. Once dry, the poster board cutout was just a little bit too big, so I just cut off any of that excess so that way it'll fit on the back of the frame. And then I just began folding the poster board in a fan form. And this just created the true look of that galvanized metal. Go ahead and put that all aside. I did get these large popsicle sticks from Home Depot. I'm just placing them inside of the frame, marking it off where I will eventually need to cut those down so that way they will fit right inside of the frame. And really it's just a simple diagonal cut, but again, you wanna make sure that it does fit inside of the frame of your choice. And then using some of this burnt umber acrylic paint that I got from Walmart, I began just by spraying the paint sticks all throughout just to help the paint be just a little bit more watery and then wiping off any of that excess. And what this does is just creates a wood stained look. I then realized that, oh my gosh, the paint sticks do not match the color of the frame. So I ended up painting all of the frames with that burnt umber acrylic paint as well. Once that was all covered, I just allowed everything to completely dry. Once that was dry, now I'm just applying some hot glue along the corners of the frames, and then I'm just placing those popsicle sticks right inside. And I just did this to all three of those picture frames. And if your frames start doing what mine is about to do, it just started to kind of give in, just add a little bit more hot glue and that'll fix itself. And then once the outer part is all complete, you then just want to grab the poster boards and then just start hot gluing those right behind where you put the popsicle stick. So each of the frames is going to have that faux metal galvanized look. And look at how awesome this came out. So just grab your tissue box and display this wherever you would like. 
And before anybody asks, no, I did not do a backing on this because it's just going to be up against a wall anyway. So I didn't really have to put a backing. But there you go, guys. I just saved you $45. And I think this came out pretty close to the original. I hope this inspires you to create your own. Please be sure to sprinkle. Thank you so, so much and have a good rest of your day. Bye.